Tere, um, my name is Hazar. I'm a master's student of analytical chemistry and welcome to Chemicum. What's here in Chemicum? So Chemicum is the home to University of Tartu's um, Institute of Chemistry. So this building has been over for 10 years and has been funded by Estonian government as part of the research infrastructure projects. So to get here, it's um, 20 minutes by bus from the city center or you could do some walking for 30 minutes if you prefer some exercise. So I will not make this um, intro longer and let's take a look. Okay, so now we're here at the lobby of Chemicum. So you can see right here, it's very open and very spacious and I think you can see about everything from here. So you can see the, ca the library and then you can also see the cafeteria and some rooms here. And so um, let's take a walk and show where we're headed. If we need some help with something or we want to locate something that we're not sure where it is, we can ask for the information desk. Okay, now we're here at the Chemicum Library. So what can you find here? So everything chemistry related resources, so books, um, journals, newsletters, you can find it here. And if you're also looking for um, online resources, we also have um, PCs upstairs. And if you don't have a PC, you can always access UT's Wi-Fi network. So there would be no problem for you. So like I've said, with a Chemicum library, you have access to different kinds of chemistry-related resources. So here you can see that there are numerous amounts of um, computers where you can um, do some last-minute assignments perhaps or access the UT network. Or if you don't have any um, PC, you can always use um, the Wi-Fi network, which is free for the University of Tartu students. And it's very fast, so you don't have to worry about it. So here at Chemicum, we are proud to present and recognize our notable um, university alumni and professors that made significant contributions to the scientific community as well as the society. So here we present to you um, some notable professors and alumni of the university. One of those is Wilhelm Oswald. So if you know Wilhelm Oswald, he's a scientist, a chemist who was working with chemical kinetics and chemical equilibria. And he won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1909. So there you go. Now we enter the Chemicum Auditorium. So you can see here where our classes mostly take place. So here you can see that there are a lot of seats that are very comfortable and very spacious. And here uh, we are encouraged to um, participate in learning discussions with the different students and different teachers. So. That is in order to uh, promote uh, stimulated learning and just do some brainstorming. Okay, so we're now here at the most important area of the Chemicum building. So, so far we've discussed all these places, but we haven't gone to the most important. Chemistry is nothing without the laboratory, right? So before we enter the lab, always safety first. So let's take a look inside of the teaching lab. What I like here in the teaching lab is that they have this um, complete facilities where students can engage in different kinds of experiments. So here you can do um, simple chemical reactions or you could also work with the laboratory's big guns. So you can see that there are lots of fancy um, equipment right here where students can do their experiments, their chemical analysis. And let's take a look at one of them. So how are you doing? Yeah. And you? I'm good. So what, 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 what is this? Can you tell me something about? This is a chromatogram mm -hmm. and we are doing a um, specific analysis here. Uh -huh. So I'm waiting for the results. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah. And here, Hello. hi, what, what are you doing? Um, I'm doing gas chromatography. Mm-hmm. Wow. And you're doing some analysis right there? Yes, yes. What I like about Chemicum's teaching lab personally is that aside from its um, big facility, you can also see that we have um, very expansive views from the outside of the outside. So it feels like it, the area is very breathable. But just to remember not to inhale any chemical fumes from your experiments. We have fume hoods and vacuum vents for that, okay? So from the teaching labs, we now go to some um, research labs. So one of University of Tartu's uh, 
um, main research labs here is the NMR lab in Chemicum. So, like I've said before, this is one of the lab uh, university's big guns. So, what can we do here? So, for applications, when we do some analysis, chemical analysis, we want to identify a particular, um, let's say, molecule, organic molecule, for some, sorry for the technical jargons, but yeah, here you can see this big magnetic instrument and you can, um, with this instrument, you can elucidate some chemical structures, identify specific compounds that you want to purify or isolate, and that's it. We're at the second most important area of chemicum, so we're hungry, so we need food. So let's take a look at the cafeteria or what we like to call it, the coffee. Yeah, hope I said it right. <laughs> so um, here you can see that the area is very spacious and you can have a lot of comfortable chairs to sit on and do some chit chat with your classmates and do some assignments again <laughs> and in terms of the food they have a wide selection so whatever you need they have it from main course vegan options pastries desserts soups you name it also beverages and not to mention it's very cheap so food here costs around five euros in general so that's a pretty good deal so that's it for me this was chemical my name is hazar and see you soon here in tartu bye